You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Okay. Let's continue with Tilda Oxford's point of view. Enjoy. Tilda was on the MPD, fuming to herself. I told him he, he has to learn how to do it, but no. Okay, let's see. MPD. My dear great is um, technology. Show me. Did Benjamin say anything to Karato Haragi? Hmm? Tilda said sarcastically. The machine responded back by typing. Kind of, sort of. But he never even met Karato. Oh, please. However, it said, Would you like to see how Karato got the source from? Take a look. Tilda could not believe her eyes. Benjamin was saying, or rather speaking, to Inspector Lovell. Why are you so fascinated with this agency so much? <laughs> I swear, this one agent from the Evermore Incorporation, she goes by the name of Tilda Oxford. There is an agent by the name of Tilda? Yes. She's known as the Water and Ice Girl. I swear that girl can be quite a bit messy, but she's very much of a beautiful, talented young lady. I bet she would take down any foe that causes her pain. I can't believe it. I knew it. She continue on, and it looks like the inspector was speaking to Coretto. So there's an agent by the name of Tilda Oxford. That's just what she goes by. You might see her around here, but I must warn you, she's quite talented. Hmm. That's what I like. I don't know who you are and how you got this information, but thank you. I'd like to converse more, if you don't mind. This won't be the last time you will see me. Ah, I know it! I know it, I know it, I know it! Tilda exclaimed. Then she began face down, and all of a sudden she just pounded her fist. And, all, and then she began kicking around as she said, I know it, 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 I know it! that deceiving inspector. I knew there was something up with him. Benjamin never even came across this place. <laughs> oh my god. That's when she heard a knock at the door. <sighs> yes, can I help you? Tilda called out. The door opened. It was Shinya. Hey, did you finally woke up from your nap? Earlier, Tilda had taken a nap. She groaned. Oh, yeah, I did. What, are you satisfied? Well, yes. It's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to find a good place to read. But there isn't any quiet places around here. Not since your gang is causing me a lot of trouble. I'm really sorry. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> You've been doing all you can. I'm proud of you. Thanks. By any chance, <laughs> did you somehow wet the bed? No, I did not wet the bed. What are you talking about? I'm old enough to not do that. That's something that my little niece would do. 
I actually met your nieces. They're quite nice. Especially the little cutie. How come she goes by the name of Effie? Well, we were gonna call her Yuffie, but she couldn't say Yuffie. All she said was Effie. But then she's grammarly correct sometimes, so yeah. She always wonders, why call me Yuffie when there is an E? Why not Effie? Hmm. Strange, I know. But we went along with it anyway. We were trying to ease it up, but she got a little uptight about it. But don't worry, she's gotten better. Hmm. She doesn't mind if you call her Effie or Yuffie or whatever, but just with a U. Hmm, I see. It was quiet for a while. However, Tilda said, I don't want to interrupt, but did you hear me shouting? Well, I didn't want to intrude. What was it about? Um, the inspector spoke to Coretto Haragi. Oh, my suspicions were right. I'm thinking to myself, who else would have come into this agency and is so curious, so damn curious, and it all links to the inspector. So there's a corrupt cop in the premise. No shit. Now what am I gonna do? Mm, I don't know. It's gonna be a long way down now, is it? Long way down? What is this, an elevator? <laughs> no. Just be careful. You don't know what you're gonna get yourself into. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, you little silly. Hmm, <laughs> silly. <sighs> I don't believe this. Here I am. In the midst of all of this chaos, I can't believe I'm getting myself involved with this guy. It's Benjamin Hallows. Well, it was quite clever. You gave him a taste of your own medicine. You gave him a taste of fear. Does that help? <laughs> of course it will. Maybe he will learn his lesson. If not, you did all you could. <sighs> That's when her MPD beeped. It was supposed to be a phone call message. Or better yet, a video phone call message. Who is it? It's him. She pressed the button. What do you want this time? You kept calling me and I'm trying to get my best to sleep. Please, make this go away. Ben said frantically. Oh, look, Shinya. I think my Manium Mercury is really taking effect. How wonderful. I mean it. I learned my lesson. Uh-uh. No. No. You learned nothing. You learned nothing. Okay? You have to learn to have this stuff inside of you. It's like a drug to me. A drug? I didn't pump you full of that as a drug. I used it because, you know what? There's no going back while using this shit. I can try to extract it. You can't. It's combined in your blood. If you do try to extract it, you're gonna lose so much blood, you'll die. And there won't be a lot of blood transfusions to revive you or your partner. So, no dice. Sorry. You dare torture me, so You just want to see me suffer. No, I want you to use that mania mercury. It's like your panic attack. But you can change your panic attack and turn it into, I don't know, your adrenaline rush of excitement. But you're not even taking any chances. Oh no, no you're not. Now listen to me, stop calling me. You either learn how to deal with this or I'm not gonna help you. 
You made your choice. Now the rest of the agents are coming after your ass. And they're going to hunt you down and probably have your heads uh, of a bounty. And then they want your head on a platter. Or maybe your liver or any other organs on a platter. Which do you so prefer? <laughs> Fine. Fine. I know what I did was wrong. Uh-huh. Sure. I can fix this. Right? You want me to deal with it? Fine. I'll do it. You know? It's gonna take more than just ferret bathory. You know? Also, you really should have told on the inspector because my suspicions were right. It was him. He's been on my case, too. You don't say. He's been on our case. Now listen, you get those damn Mania Mercuries to become as firepower. You can turn your fear into excitement. Is that anything wrong with that? You're mad. Thanks. Thank you very much. You see, he, he's learning already. Now listen, talk to me again when you improve. I'm not going to take that stuff out from inside of you because it's too late to go back. All right? Now, if you excuse me, I have to go. See you later. Bye. She logged off before Ben could say anything else. She even put the MPD down face forward and she groaned. Ugh, why? Why am I the only one having to deal with this shit? It's not fair. It is not fair. <sighs> you think you're the only one? Shinya said. Have you been listening to my conversation? Uh, no. But I have to relate. You were the one part of the whole thing. I had to! Okay, fine, maybe that wasn't the best intent and maybe I shouldn't follow that suggestion, but what else can I do? He wasn't going to obey me. He wasn't going to admit to his problems. He makes it sound like it's not his fault. Well, I'm gonna make him realize that. Believe me. He thinks he can go and do as he pleases. Well, that's not going to change anything. He's got to know his right 